Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use while loops and do while loops in Scala. So first of all, what are loops in general? So loops allows us to execute certain code repeatedly as long as a condition is true. So let's see an example of while loop first. So I'm going to just declare a variable which is x is equal to zero. And then we will write the syntax of while loop, just write a keyword while, and then we use these parentheses and then these curly brackets. And in this parentheses, we give some condition. For example, we want to check whether X is less than 10, then we want to print something. So let's print line X is equal to, and then plus, the value of x and then i'm going to increment the value of x by one so i will just write x plus equals one which just means that we just want to add one to the existing value of x right you cannot write x plus plus as you can write in other languages because it's not allowed in Scala. So you cannot write X plus plus or X minus minus or minus minus X or plus plus X. Those prefix and suffix are not allowed in Scala. So this statement is not valid, okay? So I'm going to just remove it. And this is just like saying, you just want to increment X is equal to X plus one, right? and I'm going to just uh, run this code and see what's the result. So you can see it prints the value of X from zero to nine. So what's happening here? So we have declared a variable X is equal to zero. So initial value of X is zero. And then we uh, just reach the while loop condition. And in this condition, we check whether the value of X is less than 10 or not. So here we evaluate some Boolean condition and until this condition is true, this code inside this while loop will be executed. So at first, the value of X is zero, which is less than 10. So that's why this code is going to execute. And then the value of X will increment by one. And now the value of X will become one. And then we will loop over uh, this statement once again, until this condition is true. So then the value of X is one, which is less than 10 once again. So then this uh, statement will once again execute until the value reaches nine, right? So value reaches nine, X is equal to nine, which is also true, which is less than 10. This uh, statement will be executed. And then once X becomes 10, then this condition is not true. So we come out of the loop. So the basic need for the while loop here is this condition must match. Until and unless this condition will match, these statement will uh, execute. Otherwise, if this condition is false, uh, the execution will not go inside the while loop. Now let's talk about do while loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just write do the syntax of uh, do while loop you just write a keyword do and then give these curly brackets here. And at last you just write while and then you give your condition as you have given in the while loop, okay? So let me declare a variable first of all. So var y equals zero. And then here I will uh, just check the same condition as I have done with the x. So x is less than 10 so I want to just print line. So print line y is equal to and then concatenate the value of y here. Okay. And then I will increment the value of y by one like this. And let's run the code once again. So now let's see the result. So the result is almost same. You can see here the y starts from zero to nine, right? And until this while loop condition is met, this code in do while will uh, execute. But the difference between while loop and do while loop is that in do while loop, this code will execute at least once, even if the condition is false. So let's say we just say that we are checking 
whether y is less than 0, right? And in our case, y is equal to 0. So this condition is not met. So we will hope that this will not execute. But in do while loop, this will execute at least once. So in do while, the code execution first of all goes here. So it executes this code inside the do while loop and then checks the condition. And in while loop, this while loop will first check this condition. And if the condition is true, then only it will go inside the while loop. So let me just uh, run the code once again. And you can see it prints the value of y is equal to zero, even if this while loop condition is false. So this is the simple way of using while loops and do while loops in Scala. It's very similar to Java if you are familiar with Java. So that's it for this video. Please write, comment, subscribe and bye for now.